Hello friends, I'm Troy Brewer from propheticnumbers.com and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the most prolific number in the Bible, the number seven. And since we're talking about number seven, let's go ahead and we'll talk a little bit about the number 77. We'll talk about the number 777, uh, which is one of my favorite airplanes. And then we'll also I'll get into the number 70. So let's just knock all those out. Okay guys, you guys ready to do this? So seven marks where God is doing something by his spirit. It represents manifest spirit. Apart from any other source, when God says, okay, this is happening by my spirit, boom, it's, that's what the number seven is all about. It also marks rest where he rules over all things that he has created. Now rest doesn't mean sleep, okay? Rest and peace have to do with ruling and reigning, dealing with the opposition and now, sit, now being seated upon a throne in perfect dominion, rest. It also is the most sacred number of all the numbers. It's the most sacred one to the Hebrews. Now there is something about the number seven and there's a pattern given by God from the very beginning. So let's unpack that. You know, there's really no reason for the calendar to be divided into, seven, into a seven day week. I mean, why didn't God make a week 10 days or four days? or three days. Have you ever thought about that? I mean, if you're into the weekend, we could have like a three day week, all right? There's Monday and Tuesday, and then there's, you know, Saturday. And then we have Monday, no, nope, that's not how it is. There's actually seven days. And why isn't a week five or 10 days? I know it's because God wants you to pay attention to the number seven from the very beginning. He wants us to pay attention to the day of rest. Now, rest doesn't just mean doing nothing. Rest is not inactivity. It's sure not. It means God has dominion over, over your own life. He's in the driver's seat and he wants us to put our hope within him, rest. There are seven visible objects in our solar system. So I wanted to just unpack that. So if you're outside and you're looking up, you know what you can see? You can actually see seven. Now we know that there are nine planets and we understand all that within our own solar system. And then of course, there are thousands and thousands and thousands, probably millions and millions and millions, if not billions and billions of exoplanets. But the bottom line is that we can only see seven with our eye. Okay, what is that? It's the moon, it's the sun, it's Mars, it's Mercury, it's Jupiter, it's Venus, and it's Saturn. Now the same God who designed the week also designed the heavens from our viewpoint. Why? Because he wants us to pay attention to seven. You're supposed to be much more aware of the Spirit of God than you are of anything else. Boom, seven. So seven is when the Spirit of God brings hope and something to look up to or something to look forward to, something that will surely come to pass. I want you guys to, script, I want you guys to check out this really cool scripture. Seven is God's perfect purification and that's Leviticus 417. And the priest shall dip his finger in some of the blood and sprinkle it seven times before the Lord even before the veil. So it has to do with redemption. It has to do with perfection. Seven is also perfect forgiveness. That's Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 through 22. And then came Peter and said, Lord, how often am I supposed to forgive somebody? And he says, 70 times seven. So do you like this kind of video? Do you think it's cool? Well, will you go ahead and like it right now? Go ahead and push the button and like this, and then be sure and share this. Share this on your own social media, let people know, and then be sure and visit our website, propheticnumbers.com, where I have this video and many, many, many other videos. And friends, we're loading up brand new videos every single month. Thank you so much for visiting me at propheticnumbers.com.